Dwayne Wade, now sharing the moment his 12-year-old came out to him as transgender. Dwayne Wade, you gone too fucking far, dog. That is amazing. But we not as here, boy. Bill Maher had some interesting things to say about the gay mafia on his show the other day. I think there is a gay mafia. <laughs> I, think, I think if you cross them, you do get whacked. I really do. There is a gay mafia. I, I've never heard this. No, there's a total gay mafia. Like, oh, shoot them down? There are certain uh, gay people with a lot of power and a lot of money, and they pull strings and do all sorts of things. They pull strings and do all sorts of things. They pull strings and do all sorts of things. The gay mafia has its roots in politics, and what they do is they have they have fundraisers um, and can make or break a candidate based on the money they give, because there's a lot of money in the gay community, and so a lot of these people, and Bill Clinton in particular, would court the gay mafia, and that's one of the reasons why they felt so betrayed with Don't Ask, Don't Tell. The hip-hop community is most likely owned by gay. To be honest well, with you, you think they'll be in they're owned the by fun. gay. They're, I happen to think there's a gay mafia in hip hop. Right. Not rappers. You know right. the editorial presidents of magazines, sure. the 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 PDs at radio stations, the, the the people who give you award at award shows. The, this this is a fucking gay mafia. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? They are in power. So why wouldn't a guy come out and say, "Yo, I'm gay." that type of love. I mean, Lady Gaga, I don't know if she's gay, but she's running with that gay shit for real. And she is winning. Rap music? Nah, it ain't no different. Newslet presents Boy, what a month that was! April 29th, right back in Washington, D.C. Former CIA chief George Tenet goes on 60 Minutes to promote his book defending the way he ran the CIA during its back-to-back -back failures of 9-11 and Iraq. The big news, what he really meant by his now infamous slam dunk quote. It turns out that Tenet wasn't talking about his certainty of Saddam Hussein possessing weapons of mass destruction, but rather Tenet's certainty that the American public could be made to believe that Saddam had him. George Tenet's next job, slam dunking us on the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, and the Tooth Fairy.
I remember it clearly how all this began. Family secrets from father to son. Inherited knowledge that gives me the edge. We control the money that controls your lives. Whilst you worship false idols, and, but as long as they're there to control the masses, we rig the game and we buy out both sides. We will, we will have our own political party. And we need to have our own political party because we all have the same motherfucking problem. We built this nation and we get none of the benefits. <laughs> you voted for parties. <laughs> what more could you do? But what you don't know is they're one and the same, and you'll follow the leader who was put there by you. But you simply don't see it's all part of the game. Another distraction, like money and fame. Oh, yes. But as long as we own all the media, too, what's really happening does not concern you. So just go on watching your plasma TV. Because Nina and I were talking about this other day, and, and Nina made a statement to me. She said, you know what? When people meet each other, they should know, you know, at, in a relationship, what each other's trauma is. Uh, What's K. Michelle's trauma? Men. Wow. The center, I once said, what, what was the center, like, of my pain, of my yes. life? I didn't have anybody, knock on wood, no one close to me die or anything like that. Everything that I've gone through has been because of lack of self-esteem and men being in the middle. Mm. What do you mean? Like, explain that. Like, I, don't what? Think, I don't think men are good people. Wait, you think that now? All I, men. All, I don't think they're good people. So I have a question for Kay Michelle. Like, what exactly is a 1%? What does that look like? What is that great guy? Like Jesus and Obama. But it's not just me that I'm basing this off of. Mm -hmm. It's women in every city. I've been on the road every week for five years. Mm -hmm. Five years. And I'm these women are walking up to me. I mean, like, crying. Not even like, oh, he did this. Like, broke down. Souls broke down. Right. So, 
as soon as they come towards me, I know the first thing they're going to say, something they man did to them. Mm -hmm. No, it's never anything good. I rarely hear anything good that a man has done to help a woman become a better woman. I'm going on, I go on the real. I go on what's brought. You all can be like, oh, there is a good man. Yeah, probably 1%. You want to talk about 1%? the one percent? That's different. I, you want to talk about a one percent? But if you're gonna tell the truth, and he you might be gay, him. he might just be being good to his gay partner. You tell the truth, and he might be gay, him. he might just be being good to his gay partner. And he might be gay, he might just be being good to his gay partner. Dwayne Wade, now sharing the moment his 12-year-old came out to him as transgender. I don't know if everyone knows, originally named Zion. Zion born um, as a boy, came home and said, hey, uh, so I want to talk to you guys. Um, you know, I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth. And I want to be uh, referenced as she and her. Uh, I would love for you guys to call me Zaya. Zaya has received strong support from Wade and his wife, Gabrielle Union, including firing back at what they called social media hate from people who attacked Zaya's appearance in this family photo. Reaction to Wade's Ellen Show appearance? Zaya's name trending on Twitter. Union thanked friends, family, and followers for information, resources, love, and encouragement, sharing this video of a conversation between Zaya and Wade, writing, Meet Zaya. She's compassionate, loving, whip smart, and we are so proud of her. They haters. They just put me out Planet Fitness because of what I said about Dwayne Wade's son. And they said I said a video of one of their employers was faggots or some shit. They chissing for Dwayne Wade's son. So don't go to Planet Fitness no more. Nobody. Nobody goes to Planet Fitness. They got roaches in that bitch. <laughs> oh, anyway, bro. All right. <laughs> All these jackets on bro. You doing the fucking most, bro. You doing the most, bro. You just come fooling me for nothing, bro. You doing the most. Get your gay ass out my face. Fucking man, keep fucking with me. Just picking on me, bro. Tell me my sweater. He just keep fucking with me, bro. Just, I'm trying to be cool, bro, but he just keep fucking with me. Like, bro. I guess he fucking with me because what I said about Dwayne Wade's son. Like ever since I posted that, he's been coming over here fucking with me. Like I'm trying to be cool. I will beat his ass. I'm trying to be cool, bro. Ignore him. Ignore him. Ignore him.
I remember I was in that goal. I walked down on a nigga riding a nigga dick from the back. That nigga had a nigga ankles riding that bitch from the back, man. I ain't know about the coke can and the shawl, you heard me? Nigga ain't even tell me. I walked straight in at 6 in the morning. Nigga riding that dick. I say, man, I won't go home, man. Fuck that, man. I say, man, I won't go home, man. I got to call the lawyers for all kind of bum. Man, give me a motherfucking bum, man. That shit fuck my head up. Another nigga riding a nigga dick, man. Taking that bitch. I'm talking about riding a nigga dick. That shit. That nigga say, damn, youngster. I say, my bad, man. Yeah, I ain't no man. Fucking the shit out that nigga in that bitch. I was like, man, this shit. I was like, this ain't no place for no motherfucking human being, bro. When I saw that shit, OG, I'm like, these niggas sick, man. You a nasty motherfucker, man. You a nasty motherfucker. You heard me? You a nasty motherfucker. Yeah, nasty ass nigga. But don't you think you coming out that could probably help others who are struggling the way you were struggling with it? But don't you think you coming out that could probably help others who are struggling the way you were struggling with it? I think it's going to always help, you know, it's going to, you still have a long way to go because it's not like everybody is like messing with me now because of course Somebody who's like listening to me in school right now, it's like, you gay because you're listening to him. So it's like, it's still a lot to be done, of course, but I, I do believe it's, it's helping. Yeah, just let me die silence. I cannot say the world and 